All right, so here it is, guys. It is a 2020 or a 21, not really sure. BMW 330, the G20, it's X Drive. It's in this like nice dark blue color. Probably not my number one choice, but uh, it does look pretty good. So here's like the front of the car over here. Yeah, let's go check out the interior. So here's the interior, just first impressions. Honestly, uh, the G series or G generation, whatever you want to call it, their interiors are honestly much nicer than the F generation. Uh, just my personal opinion, but uh, yeah. What's going on YouTube? As you guys saw, I have a BMW 330 today. Don't worry, it is not my car. If you guys are wondering about the 435, I do still have it. The build for that is still gonna continue. So definitely stay tuned for that. But yeah, just stick around and let me explain. Alright guys, I just want to say, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, let you know whenever new videos come out. And yeah, stick around for more videos about this car and also the 435. So if you guys are wondering, this is actually a loaner car. It's not my car, but it will be for like a day or so. I actually took the BMW 435 in for service. If you guys are wondering why I didn't service the car myself and I took it to a BMW dealership, it's actually because when I first bought the car, I bought it from BMW like certified and I actually got like a maintenance package with it. It's part of like the deal when I bought it. That package is actually going to expire. I think like end of June so right now it's like June 15th so I figured I'd just take the car in for service one last time before it expires that way I can kind of like capitalize on you know the fact that I get free maintenance so I actually took the car into BMW around like 8 a.m. or so and they finished the car around like 12 or 1 so I'm gonna go back tomorrow to pick up the 435 I do have this car in the meantime so while I have it I figured I'd capitalize do like a review video of this car anyways when they had the 435 they did change a couple things so they did like an oil change they changed the windshield wiper uh, inserts pretty basic stuff but they also actually changed changed the rear brakes on the car which is pretty clutch so they changed the rear pads and the rotors and this was all completely free so I didn't have to pay for it if you guys are wondering why I just didn't do it myself and you know make like a video out of it which would have been a good idea as you guys know brakes aren't cheap the oil change and windshield wiper blades like those are easy that's not bad but the brakes I mean it's pretty clutch I am trying to build the car and you know buy some like wheels suspension and uh tires for the car right now so it's kind of nice that I got to save money on brakes and uh, use that money towards some other like cooler mods. Maintenance is really important and it is getting done, but I'd rather spend the money right now on some more performance parts and you know, like cosmetic mods too, which the car is really lacking right now. So yeah, I capitalized on the whole maintenance thing. I took it to BMW. It is the last time I'm gonna take it to them. So next time I have to change brakes, I will make a video out of it. So it will make for some good content, but I figured in the meantime, while I have this like loaner car, uh, I'd make like a review out of it. So at BMW, it was actually pretty funny. So uh, there's a couple things that came up with the car. So one, the car needs new tires, which I already knew. A couple wheels on the car were bent because I mean, New York potholes. And the car needs a wheel alignment. I'm pretty sure the car needs a wheel alignment because once I hit a pothole so bad, I think it threw the wheel alignment off. I could be wrong, but anyways, I'm pretty sure that's why. But yeah, since I'm gonna be changing out the wheels, the tires, and the suspension on the car, which is also part of the reason why I'm doing it because the ones that's on the car are kind of shot. I obviously didn't do anything with BMW. They just told me about it but I just told him to like leave it finally like decided fully what wheels I'm getting what suspension and all that type of stuff so uh, I'm putting in all the orders right now I do have some more parts coming in the meantime things are getting a little expensive right now so again guys make sure you hit that subscribe button it'll really help me out but yeah a whole bunch of parts coming in more parts coming so I think the car is actually gonna look a lot different once I have the wheels on the new tires and uh, the new suspension setup so again a lot more coming with the BMW 435 that car is not going anywhere not anytime soon at least so again definitely stick around for those videos guys but yeah like I mentioned before I do want to do a review on this car this is a 330 it's not a 340 if I were to get one personally I would get a 340 the reason why I'm making this video right now is because if I just made the review video for this like G20 I think a lot of my subscribers who want to see the 435 they'd probably think like I got rid of it and they'd be confused and I think a lot of my subscribers are interested in seeing the 435 build so I didn't want to confuse you guys like if a video of the G20 came up I didn't want you guys to think I got rid of the 435 at least not yet so I figured I'd make this video before the next video comes out that way also I have to explain in the review video about all this I think it'd just be too cumbersome for that video so this way you guys know why I have this car and why I'm making a review video out of it and then the review video I can just focus on the review again so that way if someone wants to see the G20 and only the G20 they don't have to hear me talk about the BMW 435 which uh, to them they probably wouldn't care anyways guys that's pretty much it so uh, this video is pretty quick um, again I will make a full video about this car so if you guys do want to check that out make sure you hit the subscribe button uh, that video will be coming out soon I'm pretty much actually gonna start it like as soon as I wrap this video up so I'm probably gonna be wearing the same shirt but don't judge me but anyways like I was saying before leave me a like drop me a comment let me know what you guys think about the G20s I actually kind of like them but I will be talking more about it in my next video and yeah lastly I already said it a million
annoying times, but uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more videos, guys. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.